Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead and East Fork Christmas Tree Farms. The question was asked, can you get new branches to grow out of old uh, two or three year old bark or even older on a Christmas tree? So we have a reasonably nice tree right here. Uh, and then it's got this big gap right in between here. So uh, years ago when I started Christmas tree farming, I was told, you know, if you were to strip the bark, uh, so you're taking off uh, and getting into the cambium layer so you're taking off the phloem the inner bark and then you're outside of the xylem okay the sapwood and there's a there's just a couple of cells that are uh, the cambium that are indeterminate they could go either way supposedly if you were to cut that just right at the right level those being exposed to the outside would that could then now grow new branches and so I tried this multiple times and I was never successful. So uh, in theory, it sounds really good, but uh, to be honest with you, I tried and it didn't go, go very well. Uh, it's not like uh, deciduous trees, like here in the Pacific Northwest, you, you know, you cut branches on a maple or an alder and they get exposed to the sun and there's always, you know, 20 year old sections of trunk, just uh, new branches growing out. Uh, the, the deciduous trees will do that. But the conifers, which we have for Christmas trees, uh, if you can get this to work, please let me know how you do it because I have tried and my short answer is no, you cannot get uh, a branch to grow out of the, you know, two year old and even older Christmas trees. What I have done though to save a tree like this and um, my wife and I, I did it in our house is we took a tree like this home that was really pretty everywhere else and we just cut another branch off of a tree and then we just stripped the bark off of the end of it there and very simply took a drill that matched the size and we drilled into the trunk and then we just stuck the branch in there one that matched the shape of the tree and, and I'll be honest with you it looked magnificent it was great so we we consider just doing that every year just making perfect trees because we could add branches wherever we want but that's not what we want to do we want to grow perfect trees but uh, that is a way to get another tree to work and you know, obviously I'm not talking about grafting and getting them to grow in, not doing it in the summer like I, I'm out here sharing the trees now, recording this video. But I'm talking about in December, early December or late November, we're harvesting the tree. There's a hole there, cut a branch, stick it in there. And uh, I found, where'd that branch go? I found that because we stripped the bark, I think there's actually, I could be crazy, but a little bit of moisture being drawn up the tree from our stand and into the branch. Um, it does dry out a little bit faster than the rest of the tree, but not significantly, at least in our experience, and so it looks good. So again, obviously I would not recommend doing this to make a tree look good without telling your customers, you know, you put it on the shaker and your branches are flying off, or they do that. But if someone's really liking a tree but there's a hole, say, hey, you know, we, we've done it for a customer before, we could take care of that for you, and we just drilled it in, I said, you know, stick this in when you get home, and actually drilled the hole for them, they're like, great. And so, you know, there was, nothing hidden about it but we just told them to do it and they did it and uh, they really enjoyed it as well so no I don't think you're gonna get a branch to grow but there are ways to make it look nice in your house so thanks for joining me on the Flanagan homestead where Christmas trees are my business teaching including horticulture is my job and outdoor projects are my passion hope to see you again soon and I love hearing from people where you're farming how many acres you have what types of trees you're growing